feel like Rowan Crew is that thing that we put in movies to let people know you're at an Ivy League university. Except this is the University of Washington, which is not an Ivy League school. This is The Boys in the Boat. Uh, it is available now on Prime Video slash MGM Plus, and it has audio description by Deluxe, narrated by Laura Post. And if you want to click that subscribe button, I'm a blind film critic who loves to talk about audio description and accessibility and try to try to get more of it and good stuff, good audio description. Um, I don't have much to complain about here. I don't know much about Rowan Crew, but I feel like <laughs> I feel like the film did a good job of defining what Rowan Crew was. I just don't think George Clooney did. Anyway. Uh, the Boys in the Boat is an inspirational sports drama because we need those every year. Um, and unfortunately, George Clooney has decided to tackle uh, one of the other sports. Um, you know, we have sort of like the big ones where we try to find uh, whether or not it's an inspirational basketball drama like Glory Road, inspirational hockey drama like Miracle. Uh, inspirational boxing drama, like, I don't know, all of them, uh, <laughs> pick one, um, The Fighter, Ali, Rocky, <laughs> pick one, um, inspirational baseball movie, like The Rookie, uh, or the recent The Hill, both of them starring Dennis Quaid, because that dude loves to make inspirational baseball dramas, um, you know, soccer, has goal. Uh, it's just it, like, uh, you know, we got million dollar arm. Like there's, there's, if you play a sport, somebody's probably made a sports drama about it. And we can definitely say that, that like, I think curling is the last one, you know, I think we, I don't, I'm, to my knowledge, there isn't a curling movie, but uh, I think that's the, the last uncharted I mean, we have, you know, right, we have uh, Eddie the Eagle, uh, you know, I mean, that's sort of a different, cool runnings, you know, I mean, these are not mainstream sports. So George Clooney jumped into the water here with Boys in the Boat. Um, he uses a, a squad of mostly unknown actors uh, to play these roles. He's really hoping that the subject matter is what will carry the film. I think this is why The Boys in the Boat didn't really pop at the theaters and didn't really pop during awards season. His biggest actor here is Joel Edgerton. Uh, he's also got Callum Turner, who is uh, kind of blowing up right now because he's also in Masters of the Air. So having these two things sort of hitting at once is putting him a little bit more on people's radar. He's been around for a little bit, but I don't think he's a household name. Um, so this is basically on Joel Edgerton's shoulders and... That's a lot to carry, um, a film about rowing crew. It does follow your typical inspirational sports tropes. This is based on a true story. It's based on uh, a junior varsity crew team that has the opportunity uh, to compete uh, for a spot at the Olympics and, and hopefully go on to Olympic glory and, and something that they are an underdog in. They're not projected to win. And it follows sort of that fairly predictable thing. This film has one of those scores that's fairly predictable for this type of movie. It has, of course, one of the guys meets a girl and she's so cute and they have such a good relationship. There's, you know, there's those scenes and the music changes for them and it gets all like sw swoony and romantic. And it's just very... You're like, oh, oh, look at that time period. Then you re remember that, that they're trying to compete to get into the Berlin Olympic Games. And you're like, when did we? Oh, yeah. yeah this is a Great Depression era, uh, pre-World War II, you know, um, Berlin, Jesse Owens, who also has a movie about him, by the way, Race, which is better than this. Um, there's a really awkward moment in here where the crew team, who probably has no real reason to run into Jesse Owens, runs into Jesse Owens, and they're like, hey, you're Jesse Owens. 
And I was like, hey, this scene is dumb. Be <laughs> this scene is written very poorly. <laughs> it's like, George Clooney used to make good movies. Good Night and Good Luck is, like, flawless. Um, this movie is terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I, it's not terrible. But it has terrible parts to it. This scene was, it was so painful. It was like, did he feel like he had to put Jesse Owens in here? Did he not know how to do it? <laughs> like, hey, you're Jesse Owens. Oh, yeah, well, I guess I am. Funny how I just appeared in this film because I'm the most, you know, famous person who went to these Olympics. Um, I mean, we're in two totally different sports. Uh, and the film doesn't, you know, encroach into racism at all. Um, it just, it doesn't talk about that for, at all. Like, there's no, there's, it's just like, hey, two, ath two athletes just sort of respecting each other. Not talking about anything. They're just like, hey, it's Jesse Owens. We had to put him in here. Because he's, he's here at the Berlin Games. And everybody knows he's at the Berlin Games. And they're way more famous than this crew team. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do it. Um, I hate that scene so much. I giggled. I laughed out loud when that scene happened. When he goes, hey, you're Jesse Owens. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> George Clooney. <laughs> um, it's the easy thing to do. And yeah, he did it in the worst way possible. He did it in, in like the, well, how do we have these guys? I don't know how we get them to run into Jesse. We'll just have them run into Jesse. And, hey, it's Jesse. <laughs> it's just like, oh, what? <laughs> Anyway, um, so I feel like I know more about Rowing Crew, which is good. Um, so that's the positive behind Boys in the Boat. But in terms of inspirational sports dramas, I just think this has been done better. Uh, I was bored. Uh, so it runs two hours, and it's two hours too long. <laughs> I'm making this sound way worse than it is. It's not. It's not that bad. Um. I mean, I've, it's structurally, it's a sound movie. It's, it just isn't, it's just really sort of uninspiring, which is everything that an inspirational sports drama is not supposed, it's supposed to be inspirational. That's part of the, the category, inspirational sports drama. Anyway, um, acting is fine. It's hard to pull a standout performance from anybody. Um, it's an ensemble film. Lots of people come in and out of it. Uh, it just kind of mixes together, kind of congeals. Uh, the audio description by Laura Post, I thought, was was really good. There's a lot of shots that are, you know, by the water, which I'm sure are beautiful. I'm sure this is a very pretty film to look at. I'm sure uh, for the sighted people, they were like, wow, look at all these shots out there on the water. Plus, it's a period film, so you get into the costumes that you can appreciate, the set design, decoration. Um everything that re-represents the 1930s on screen, uh, which I feel like the description does a, a pretty good job of doing. Um, even though that's not necessarily the priority of the film, the priority of the film is to make sure that you know these kids are rowing crew. How do they do that? What is rowing crew? How do you, how do, you do that? What makes them exceptional? Uh, and then, of course, the big moments when they're like racing, racing for the, for the win, you know, when they're racing to, to advance or, uh, for, for America, you know, like those are the big scenes. So anyway, it's based on a true story. You can watch it. Don't watch it. I don't think your life will be changed that much by it. Um, I like George Clooney's work more in the past. I didn't think the tender bar was perfect, but I think it was better than this. So, um, this, this, this just does nothing for me. This is a nothing film that I will not remember, uh, if, if few years from now, uh, if you like it, cool. Um, if you're really into sports dramas, you may love this one even more. You may just be all about it. Um, but I just think there are better sports movies than this. Um, so I'm going to give the boys in the boat a C. Uh, it's well acted. It's uh, mostly well written in the, in, except for when they have to, first, I don't know, contractual obligations, make sure Jesse Owens appears in the film. <laughs> That's very weird. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 
that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the other side.